Hi, I'm Anita Cheba and I run Diet Prata, the home of the best in South Asian talent and creativity. And today we are here at the Design Museum with Priya Kanchandani, the curator of the exhibition and also the head of curation at the museum itself. So the Offbeat Sari is the first large scale exhibition in the UK that focuses on the contemporary Sari, specifically with India. Can you tell us the importance of curating an exhibition like this in the UK and what that means to you? Yeah, I mean, I grew up in the UK and like many members of the South Asian diaspora, had a certain understanding of what the sari was. It was usually something we associated with maybe an older generation. We maybe didn't relate to it as something we would wear. And I think we associated it with a particular version of femininity. So this was kind of the woman in the domestic space. But I think that, that those ideas have been broken down as ideas of Femininity and womanhood within South Asia have moved on and in the last decade or so this has been a particularly rapid period of change and it just presented a really exciting opportunity for me um, to be able to tell the story of contemporary India to audiences here. Of course, I mean growing up in the UK specifically, how exciting has this been for you to curate this exhibition and showcase? the breadth of what Sari is, I mean, looking around, it just blows my mind. I really wanted people to step into this space and see the Sari as they may never have seen it before. So this is the Sari at its most dynamic, its most cutting edge, its most experimental and, and exciting. And I wanted it to kind of bust those stereotypes. There are like hundreds more. This is just yeah. a snapshot. <laughs> of the sari scene. Of course, I mean, it really feels like a bit of a time for South Asian representation, South Asian talent, South Asian people. Yeah, it's, it seems like a really interesting time for the representation of diaspora. I mean, platforms like yours, there's just so much more representation, whether it's like Bridgerton to Riz Ahmed. Yeah. And I think in the last two, three years, that's sort of es escalated a lot. I know there's been so much noise around this exhibition all around the world, like press-wise. So many people have celebrated it and spoken about it probably because nothing like it has happened before. Yeah, it's been really wonderful to see how people have responded to the idea of the exhibition. I think it shows there's a real appetite for kind of fresh stories about diasporas, that diasporas are no longer backward looking or like uh, confined to like nostalgic tropes and stereotypes, that we're ready for dynamism and change. The sari is quite a simple garment in terms of cut, but in terms of drape, can become quite complex. And I think we've seen that there are so many drapes on display. Can you talk to us about the importance of the drape? Yeah, I mean, conventionally, the definition of a sari is basically a single piece of unstitched cloth and it can vary in length, but essentially it's a single textile. What gives it shape on the body is the way that it's draped. Um, and draping, I, I think, is an art form in itself. There are, you know, dozens and dozens of different types of drape, depending on the region, um, on function, on form, on environment that are worn. Um, many of them are a dying art. The sari drape has essentially been distilled into one key form, which is the nivi drape. Yeah. Growing up, we really only wear saris in two different ways. So it's been really interesting for me to see all these different ways to see saris worn, because I really had no idea. Where do you think the future of the sari is going in terms of new materials? I'm really interested in the way in which designers are experimenting with the sari through new forms, through new materials, and kind of pushing the boundaries of what the sari even means. There's a sari by human, and they have used a kind of quilted fabric reminiscent of something you might use to make a bomber jacket. And they do also make street wear, so the influence of that has kind of come through. There's also a really wonderful distressed denim sari by Diksha Khanna, which I absolutely love. Um, and it comprises a skirt and then a pallu made of distressed denim that's like really soft, that you kind of drape around the shoulder and it's styled with a white shirt. So those are the, the kinds of things that are going on um, in contemporary design. But then there are also kind of more abstract representations of the sari and there's ways in which the meaning of the sari is evolving and morphing. For example, we have a sculpture by Bharti Kher, who is a contemporary Indian artist, and she's represented the sari through a series of works called the Sari Portraits, and each one is reminiscent of a woman in her life, so it has this idea of identity embedded within it. Each one comprises a concrete plinth with the sari wrapped around it that's solidified in resin. So, you know, this is the sari kind of beyond the sari. 
The sari in an abstract form, the sari is a vessel for symbolism. And I think these more poetic ideas of the sari will be explored more, not necessarily just through art, but through other media, and also through the way in which women are wearing it, which in its individualism uh, is in itself a kind of form of poetry. That's really beautiful. <laughs> they are really beautiful sculptures though. Yeah, they are stunning. I feel like there's, I feel like it kind of sets seeing stuff like this, the sari being such a powerful garment in itself, to see it almost immortalised in that kind of way because they're such powerful garments. Just seeing this exhibition will change lives and will influence so. people to, I think it definitely will. In terms of South Asian representation, not specific with the sari, but you really remember those core sort of moments, like those core actors or those core people or those core things showing up. So I think okay. seeing this in like a contemporary setting at a public museum in the UK, will just completely change the game. Well, it's been really amazing to talk to you. Thank you so much for coming. It's been very amazing to talk to you. Thank you so much for having me.